Well, straw bale gardening is a trend that's getting more popular every year. As a matter of fact, we're embarking on year number four of our straw bale garden here at the station. And if this is the year that you'd like to try it, Linda Barch from the Bruce Company shows you how to get started. So this is the fourth year we've done this back here, it's becoming more and more popular. It is. At one point, the Bruce Company sold out of straw bales, but we have them. We have them in stock. Yes, people are doing it, and they're doing it in public gardens. They're doing it on driveways at their private homes. It, it's a good way to um, get, get a garden started earlier because the soil can still be cool, and this warms up. And with all this rain, you can't get in the ground. That is true. That's a very good point, Mark. And this year, you still have to do the conditioning of these bales, though. How do you do that? Where do you begin? You begin by just watering them, saturating them with water, and then you alternate with fertilizer going on. And you can choose whether that's an organic fertilizer or a lawn fertilizer. You don't want anything with weed killer. That's the, that's the critical thing. But you have to follow a, a plan. There is a nice little plan that you can follow that's just a cute little recipe right here. So it, it, it Day it, by day. Day by day. You alternate watering with fertilizer. So the fertilizing takes how long? How many days? It's a process of over 12 days. And 12 you start days. with just high nitrogen initially, and then at day 10, you do add some phosphorus and potassium. We're at day four? Day six. Day six. So what do we have to do today? Well, we're going to add a quarter cup of fertilizer. So we've got this measured this out This says lawn fertilizer. That's, that's right. You can use lawn fertilizer hmm. as long as you don't have any kind of broadleaf weed killer in there. So a quarter cup, and you sprinkle that over the entire Bale. A quarter cup for each bale. Yes. And you just want it uniformly, and then that the watering will soak it down in. You know, this is of... a little watering system that we've set that, up? That is actually irrigation that will be important later on. As far as watering it, you probably, we have a hose set up here that we can do a little bit faster. It kind of has a sweet smell to it. That's what starts to taste. See, there's bacteria in here that is starting to break down so that we can plant in this, because initially it gets too hot. And then your little seedlings would actually, the roots would be burned off. So this is what you're, you're getting this prepared. So it's at a, at a medium that, that is acceptable for growing plants. It's like manure. If you are going to get manure, raw manure from a barnyard, and it looks like manure and it smells like manure, that's too hot to use on plants. It's going to look like nice black dirt. And so this is going to going to turn into black dirt, but it is going to turn into a medium that can grow plants. And it, it doesn't seem logical that you can grow plants in straw, but it works. Well, you're going to be fertilizing. You don't have this, the um, disease organisms. You don't have the weed seeds. That's a big advantage to bales is there's no weeds. Yes, and you don't, you can't start with hay. You have to start with straw. Why is that? What's the difference? Because that the kinds of weed seeds that are going to grow in a hay field are going to be problematic in this situation. Here, the, the, the medium is not going to have those weed seeds. So we, when, we can, when can we start planting? We can start planting after day 12. And what can we plant in the bales? Oh, anything. You can plant strawberries, tomatoes, beans, carrots, radishes, peas, a full spectrum of, of are potatoes. Gonna, are we going to go traditional on your farm? Yes, or are we yes. Gonna... some people do actually plant potatoes. Or are we going to do something different this year? It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> it, always, it always is. It always is. <laughs> All right, we'll just add water and see what happens. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, right. Linda. And I guess we can start planting next week. It was a huge hit last year. Remember, we had tomatoes oh, and pole beans and all the traditional plant, yeah. stuff. Eggplant, that's right. We should try potatoes this year. That's a good suggestion. Have we ever done that? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. No. Yeah, let's try that.